video is on the problem from random variables and distribution functions. Suppose a continuous random variable x has the probability density f of x is equal to k into 1 minus x square for 0 less than x less than 1 and 0 otherwise. Find the value of k, mean and variance. See, let's get started to find out the value of k. For finding the value of k, it is so simple that you know that the total probability is always equal to unity. So, the total probability is always equal to unity. That is, so we have the limits here from 0 to 1. So, I am inserting 0 and 1 here. So, this is minus infinity to 0, f of x dx plus again 0 to 1, f of x dx plus again 1 to infinity, f of x dx value is equal to 1. See here, if you observe, so from 1 to 0 to 1, f of x value is nothing but k times of 1 minus x square and 0 otherwise. So, this value is equal to 0 and this value is equal to 0. See, therefore, this is 0 to 1. What is f of x value? That is k times of, this is k times of 1 minus x square into dx. Now, we have to find out the value of k. So, if I bring the k outside, this will be 1 minus x square into dx is equal to 1. As you know that integral 1 dx is nothing but x and for x square, this will be x cube by 3 is equal to 1. Between the limits, see here x limits are from 0 to 1. Now, I am going to substitute upper limit minus lower limit. So, this is 1 minus 1 by 3 is equal to 1. This is k times of. So, if I take 3 as LCM, this will be 3 minus 1 is equal to 1. And k is equal to, this is 2 by 3. And k value is equal to, this value is two by, 3 by 2. So, we got the value of k as 3 by 2. And the next, what we have to find. So, next value we have to find. k we got 3 by 2. So, this value is uh, 3 by 2. And again, we have to find out the value of a mean. So, for finding the mean, again, there is a formula. So, for finding the mean, mean is represented by mu. So, mu is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x into, this is f of x into dx. Again, we have to insert the limit 0 and 1. See, for mu, so this will be minus infinity to plus infinity. So, minus infinity to 0, x into f of x dx. And again, from 0 to 1, x into f of x dx. And again, from 1 to infinity, x into f of x into dx. So, as we have the function values, when x lies between 0 to 1, the value here is k times of 1 minus x square and the remaining f of x values are 0. So, now mean mu is equal to, mean mu is equal to, this is 0 to 1, x into f of x into dx. So, mean mu is equal to 0 to 1, x. When x value lies between 0 to 1, the value of uh, f of x is nothing but k times of 1 minus x square. This is k times of 1 minus x square into dx. As we got the k value as, see here, our k value is nothing but 3 by 2. Just now I found, this is 3 by 2. If I substitute the value of k as 3 by 2, if I, val if I substitute, so this will be 0 to 1 x times of, this is 1 minus x square into dx. So, mu value is equal to, this is 3 by 2 times of 0 to 1. If I multiply, this is x minus x cube into dx. So, mu is equal to, this is 3 by 2 times of integral x is nothing but x square by 2. And x cube is nothing but x power 4 by 4 between the limits 0 to 1. So, mu is equal to, this is 3 by 2 times of, this is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. So, mu value is equal to, this is 3 by 2. If I take 4 as LCM, this will be 2 minus 1. So, mean mu is equal to, this is 3 by 2 into 1 by 4. The value of mean is nothing but 3 by 8. So, this is how we have to find out the mean. And the next thing here is, what is it we have to find? So, we got the mean value as uh, 3 by 8. The, ne the next thing we have to find out the variance. For finding the variance, again, we have a formula that, see here, for finding the variance, 
now i am going to calculate the variance so variance is nothing but sigma square which is equal to integral 0 to 1 this is x square f of x dx minus mu square so here sigma square is equal to as f of x value lies between the function value exists only when x lies between 0 to 1 so this is 0 to 1 x square what is our f of x value k into this is k into 1 minus x square into dx and here mu value is 3 by 8 whole square this is 3 by 8 whole square so now i have to calculate so we have k value as 3 by 2 so I will substitute the value of uh, k as 3 by 2 and this is sigma square k is equal to 3 by 2 0 to 1 this is x square 1 minus x square dx minus this value is 9 by 64 see here sigma square is equal to this is 3 by 2 so if I multiply with the uh, x square this will be x square minus x power 4 into dx minus 9 by 64 so sigma square value is 3 by 2 times of if i integrate this will be x cube by 3 minus this is x power 5 by 5 between the limits 0 to 1 minus 9 by 64 see here sigma value is equal to this is 3 by 2 times of if i substitute 1 this is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 minus 9 by 64 sigma square is equal to this is 3 by 2 times of if i take 15 as lcm this will be 5 minus 3 minus 9 by 64 so sigma square is equal to 3 by 2 times of this is 2 by 15 minus 9 by 64 so if i cancel then sigma square is equal to this is so if i cancel in three table see here so if i cancel in three table this is uh, 1 by 5 sigma square is equal to 1 by 5 minus 9 by 64 therefore sigma square if i take 5 into 64 if i take lcm here this will be 64 minus 9 into 5 sigma square will be 64 minus 45 by so this value is 320 so sigma square value is 19 by 320 and therefore sigma square value is 0 0.06 0 0.06 this is how we have to solve first of all we have to find out the value of a k and next mean and this is 9 by so the value here is uh, 19 by so this value is 19 by 320 so first of all you know that the total probability is always equal to unity and so all the function values are uh, loaded here so only that is k times of 1 minus x square dx we have to integrate and equate it to 1 and therefore we got the value of k as 3 by 2 and next we have to find out the mean so for finding the mean the formula here is x into f of x so only the function value exists when x lies between 0 to 1 and therefore 0 to 1 x into f of x dx f of x value is this and k value is 3 by 2 and after substituting and integrating we got the mean mu is equal to 3 by 8 and next variance so here also only a function value lies between when x lies between 0 to 1 therefore integral 0 to 1 x square f of x dx minus mu square as we have mu is equal to 3 by 8 mu is nothing but mean and k we got as a 3 by 2 and after substituting and integrating and uh, substituting all the limits we got the sigma square variance value as 19 by 320 this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and staying till the end